The Eastern Naval Command has conducted exercise Prasthan 2023 for security of offshore development area in Kaki Nadu, Andhra Pradesh. The exercise was aimed at rehearsing responses in handling contingencies and checking the efficacy of security mechanisms. A spokesperson of Britain's Foreign Ministry has said that the UK does not agree with the decisions taken by the Indian government that have resulted in the departure of 41 Canadian diplomats from India, as it is not consistent with the principles of the Vienna Convention. India is exploring options to approach the Financial Action Task Force over Canada's inaction against terror funding operations on its soil, despite India having shared credible and clinching evidence several times. Turkey has conducted the first flight of its new Bayraktar TB3, that features a collapsible wing and an arresting hook for deck-based deployment. It has doubled the launch weight and payload capabilities compared to the TB2 which is operated by Pakistan Air Force. Pakistan has joined China in an ambitious project to build a research station on the moon's south pole. China has fixed a target to land its astronauts on the moon by 2030. Recognizing the delay in the 114 MRFA procurement process, the Indian Air Force has disclosed its plan to allow a portion of the MRFA fighter jets to be manufactured by the selected foreign manufacturer at its facility, before production commences at the designated Indian plant, and this unconventional approach is being taken to save time and speed up the induction of these modern fighter jets. The Indian Air Force has finalized a two-stage procurement approach, in which 18 fighter jets will be procured directly from the foreign manufacturer, while the remaining 96 units will be manufactured in India following the transfer of technology process, and this phased approach will ensure that the Air Force can begin receiving the aircraft faster. Chennai-based Acoustics India Private Limited has developed and supplied an engine test stand for the F-414 engine, which is equipped with a control cab, fuel system, and ancillary equipment, all of which are integral components used to perform post-maintenance and repair tests, and is a critical piece of equipment designed for testing and validating the F-414 engines. General Electric has supplied 8 F-414 engines for India's Tejas Mark II program, that will power the pre-production Tejas Mark II aircraft, that is scheduled for rollout by end of 2024. The Indian Army has prioritized the development of an advanced variant of a multiple launch rocket system boasting a range of 250 km, and this decision comes as the Chinese Army has deployed rockets with a range of 160 km along the border. Given the strategic depth of the Himalayan theater, the 95 km range Pinak extended range rockets and 90 km range Russian Smirch are considered insufficient to address potential threats effectively, and the Ministry of Defense has now granted permission to initiate work on 120 km range advanced guided Pinak Mark III, and 250 km range Pinak Mark IV in collaboration between the RDO and private sector companies. The U.S. government has imposed sanctions on three Chinese firms, for supplying missile applicable items and technology used in Pakistan's ballistic missile program, and these sanctions have been imposed as part of the global non-proliferation regime. Pakistan has a stockpile of approximately 170 nuclear warheads, which could realistically grow to around 200 by 2025 at the current growth rate. Today's top three comments. 